In this video, we'll provide a quick overview of the search features found in the LSS E64 Document Management System. What we're looking at here is our Document Management Dashboard. This is where users can search for and access any of your firm's documents, email messages, PDFs, spreadsheets, and so on. Basically, any kind of electronic file. Keep in mind, however, that users can only see and access files that they are authorized to view. The top half of the screen is where you enter search criteria. Basically, this is where you tell the system what you want to see. The bottom half of the screen then lists all of the matching files and documents. Here we see a basic uh, search for all the files associated with a particular client and matter. I'll get back to the search options in just a bit. First, I want to show you some information about the document list. You'll notice that information about each file is listed in this grid. You can sort the grid by clicking on the column headings, like I'm doing here. Uh, you can uh, change the width of columns. You can even move columns from one location to another. And the system's going to remember how you've arranged this list so that each user can tailor the system to their own particular needs. To open any file, just double click. The file's going to open in, a, in the application that's associated with that file type. So, uh, Word processing documents will open in Word, Excel spreadsheets will open in Excel, and so forth. Email messages open in Outlook. You can right click on a file uh, and export it to a folder on disk. Uh, you can print it to your default printer without first opening it uh, in, in the application. Uh, there's a preview option so that you can see the contents of the file quickly and easily. Uh, you can also view the history of a particular file, so you can see who's worked with it on what dates and times and what functions were performed. If a document has multiple versions, you can list those mul multiple versions as well. Now let's get back to the search options. I'm going to move the subject line uh, out of the way because this, we're looking at some real data here in just a minute. I don't want to give away any client confidential information. Let's clear our search. So now um, we don't have any search criteria listed up here, and it's listing basically all of the documents in the system, actually just the first 2,500 documents, um, starting with the most current date. Um, basically, you can search for uh, any combination of fields you see up here. So Let's say we want to list all documents from July 1st through August 1st. We get 163 records found. Uh, this would be all documents for all people, all clients and matters, because all we've listed was a date range. But we could also uh, limit the search to a particular timekeeper, or we could even further narrow it down to a certain document type. So now we're down to 52 records. We clear that search uh, and show you how you can get a list of just certain uh, file types. If I type in MSG in the file extension field, now we get a list of just the emails. Over on the Content Search tab, you can perform full text uh, searches for words and phrases contained within the documents themselves. So I can search for all documents containing Dave Williams or David Williams. And it found one document containing uh, one of those two, David Williams. You can also perform uh, proximity searches. So uh, we could search for all documents containing the word David somewhere near Williams, not necessarily right next to each other. Uh, when you do a proximity search, the system is going to uh, sort everything in rank order. So uh, here, this document ranks higher than the rest. That means David Williams appeared very close to each other, uh, whereas these other documents, David, and Williams might have been in completely different locations of the document. You can also save any search as a favorite, which is what I'm going to do now. I'm 
once it's been saved as a favorite, anytime you want to perform that search, you can just pick it from this list right here, click on it, and the search is performed. Then over on the Saved Searches tab, you can manage your favorites. So we can mark it as a default search, uh, remove it, rename it, uh, and so forth. On the My Recent Files tab, you get a list of all of the files that you've worked with recently. And uh, it's not limited to just the last 20 or 30 files you've worked with. This will go back thousands. In this case, it's showing 2,500 uh, records. The toolbar at the top of the screen uh, provides some additional features. Uh, the text search box allows you to uh, type a word or a phrase, and the system will perform a full text search for that phrase anywhere within the profile. So it'll search the subject lines, the to, from, description, and so forth. Uh, the home button takes you immediately to the default search uh, that you have defined for yourself. Uh, this is a clear button, so it'll clear the search to perform a new one. And then history buttons. The system is going to uh, remember uh, the last several uh, searches that you've performed, and you can page back and forth uh, through those without retyping the search criteria. As you can see, the system is very easy to use and extremely helpful when it comes to organizing and accessing electronic files. But it's also quite fast. You might be surprised to know that the system you just watched in this video actually contains more than one million documents and email messages. Hopefully you noticed that all of our searches completed pretty quickly. That's it for this introduction. For a more in-depth demonstration, give us a call at 800-331-4122. One of our project managers would be happy to answer any questions you have and can show you much more of the system than I showed you today. Thanks for watching.